Good afternoon. I'm Cynthia. I'm here with Doug, and we'll help you make money in the stock market with information you will not find anywhere else because we are Wall Street Media. Wall Street Media. <laughs> we need music. We I told need you music. I want sound effects. I, I, you know We're what? getting closer and Jarvis. closer to Howard Stern by the day. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's Robin from Howard Stern. <laughs> no, he's um, Gary. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fred? Fred's a little crazy. Anyhow. Um, Jeremy Mike, uh, we have Chinese democracy. Can't we use like eight seconds of that? No. I think we can. It's not official. It's not out yet. Oh, it's not out yet. All right. <laughs> we don't have Chinese democracy, and we're not going to use eight I seconds of it. I have Chinese food in my fridge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, WSW.com slash webcast slash RBC94 is where you can follow um, this conference. Doug, what, what is this conference? Dallas as well. What's uh, RBC say MLP, for? MLP, Royal Bank of Canada. Royal Bank of and Canada. And it's the MLP 94. conference, which is Master Limited Partnerships, which is what an awful lot of the energy companies, how they were formed. Fantastic. So the first um, panel that we have is a demand conservation um, panel. And we've got Eric Flipka, president and CEO of Global Partners, GLP. And they discuss an acquisition from ExxonMobil and their transition to a diesel company, which will bring a more stable cash flow and a recent contract to sell bunker um, Fuels in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Timothy Casey, President and CEO of KC uh, Transportation, uh, Transportation, KSP, and they're also speaking at the demand panel, um, discusses the economic recession and the effect it has on their industry as well as their operations in the Gulf of Mexico, which are more affected by natural disasters. Speaking on the Marcellus Play uh, panel, first up we have Frank Semple, President and CEO of Mark West. Energy Partners, MWE, joined Bill Moeller, Senior Vice President of Energy, uh, NRGY ticker to talk about their investments in the Marcellus area. Frank Stimple, uh spoke about Mark West's planned expansion, including additional compression uh, fractionization and plant facilities and increasing overall capacity. Bill Moeller talks about the energy's recent acquisition of U.S. salt, not only for salt econ economics alone, but for gas storage as well as their Thomas Corners project, which should receive approval for construction in early December. Now we have the Gulf Coast uh, Gas Deliverability uh, Panel. And first up, we have Steve Letwin, uh, Managing Director of Enbridge Energy Partners, EEP, and David Skens, President of Marketing at Chenier Energy Partners, CQP, talked about the possibility of a future gas glut uh, in the Gulf Coast region. In addition, Steve Letwin talked about the um, shift in North American supply to the Rockies and Enbridge's numerous pipeline building projects. David Skens uh, talked about Chenier's um, South Pass Terminal, which, when completed, will be the largest terminal in the world. Um, the keynote panel and keynote speaker Tim Fenn, partner at Vincent and Elkins, talked about their potential opportuni opportunities arising from last year's energy bill, as well as those arising from the MLP. He believes that the appetite for MLPs will increase over the next few years as people learn what, when they are and he war what they are and warns against creating risk through alarmism about potential changes in legislation on the tax code and income sources with the changeover in Washington. It's going to be horrible. Horrible. Uh, the credit panel, uh, John Eckel, CEO of Capano Energy, CPNO, spoke about their business strategy for, of pursuing growth from their existing operations in three leading natural gas regions. They plan to drive supplement growth through complementary acquisitions and uh, organic expansion projects. Um, Colzer Rockow, uh, CFO of Lin Energy, L-I-N-E, or line spoke about their growth opportunities for the future. There are significant organic growth potential and opportunities for bolt-on acquisitions. We have the ENP MLP Panel A, uh, Richard Dealey, CFO of Pioneer Southwest, or PSE ticker, spoke about their plan to produce more wells to replace the ones that had been destroyed by the hurricanes. The company will continue to grow through acquisitions and drilling projects. John Walker, CEO of E. V Energy Partners, or EVEP, ticker, spoke about 300 wells the company have drilled this past year, and they plan on drilling no more than 100 in the upcoming year. John Brumley, CEO of um, Encore Energy, EMP, is looking to create MLP with loyalty trust through high-quality property and high-margin property, such as oil. Joseph Mills, um, Chairman and CEO of Eagle Rock Energy, EROC, ticker, spoke about their current focus on the new projects, Texas Panhandle, God bless Texas, we love and Texas. East Texas. Uh, they have just added two processing plants, uh, plans in uh, South Louisiana. 
uh, Rocky Mountains panel. Robert Shane, VP and COO of Highland Partners, HLND ticker, spoke about their 14 gathering systems, five process facilities, and the recently acquired Southeast Oklahoma. They have also started a new project called the Badland. Ooh. Balance, which is a nitrogen gathering system. Um, James Cleary, VP of EI, oh, sorry, EI, El Paso Pipeline Partners, EPV. Uh, EPV, that oh, sounds cute too. Uh, we discusses, love the tickers. It's always, I do. You, know, you got German Mike and Tyler now when they're here. Um, they're doing it. They're That's like, why I'm not very good at, at uh, stocks because I do them like I'm like I'm betting on a horse. You're like, oh, EPB. I like the pretty colors. Yeah, I like the yeah. name. <laughs> uh, discuss the company's ongoing growth with a 140-mile pipeline in Cheyenne and expansions on the WIC system. Uh, Danny R E A uh, Danny Ria, uh, senior vice president of Western Gas Partners W E S ticker, discussed their recent affiliation with an Anadarko, which served as strong business opportunity. They recently acquired two assets and have financial flexibility with zero debt. That's nice. Zero debt's always very good. Yeah. Michael Creel, CEO of Enterprise Products Partners EPD, spoke about their current acquisitions of Mid American Pipeline System and Seminole Pipeline System. They are looking to expand the Mid American system to build a gas processing plant. We have the Coal Outlook panel. Jim Dearlove, CEO of Penn Virginia Resource Partners, PVR, not to be confused with DVR, uh, spoke about... Which you're taking back. No. This that, afternoon. That's not my TiVo. That's the You should get box. the DVR from them. I own a TiVo. I own two TiVos, and I love them. The TiVos stink. You should use no, get one of these. No, they do not. Um, they do not. Land acquisition, which is current, is mostly in West Virginia and 4,000 miles of pipelines. Uh, Joseph Kraft, CEO of Alliance Resources Partners, ARLP, spoke you about... You know, though, it can't hold very much. How much can your TiVo hold? A lot. Yeah, see, mine always fills up too quickly if no, I have, like, TiVo, a couple series on there. You know, you know Doug, there's, TiVo has to have some kind of product that people want to get versus the DVR. It, it, it has other services. You can I know, Jeremy and Mike yeah. loves uh, the, the shows that it finds for them. It finds shows for you. It has You can access it online. So, like, if I'm here and you tell me about a show, I can go online and tape it. It has online yeah. recording. Um, it all has all different types of things. You, you listen to your music. should record Beautiful. I did. Okay. Okay. ARLP spoke about eight coal operations in East Mississippi. They're... Mississippi, their production is at two, uh, 27 million tons. That's a lot. That's a lot of weight. Got to go on a diet. I'm almost and 27 they hope million to tons, <laughs> right? as a matter of fact. They hope to reach 40 million by 2010. Nick Carter, president and CEO. Who do you think gets to 40 million first, me or them? Them. Nick Carter, president and COO of Natural Resource Partners, NRP, spoke about their um, currently owned territory, which stretches from Pennsylvania to Alabama for coal. Pennsylvania is a big coal mining village. We're from there. Yeah, it's going to get knocked out, though. Uh, you're going to have all the change, people. You saw your first little bit We've of change. Clean the market's down 25 percent, and then you're going to have some more change. Um, and by the way, I, I, I now disown Pennsylvania for electing him. Um, but you're going to have more change because you're all going to be unemployed. Now I wonder if Pennsylvania, a lot of people converted to oil and a lot of people converted to electric from coal to try to protect the uh, environment. But then I, I bet you they're missing that cheap that cheap uh, fuel system because you know these people are spending like five six hundred bucks a month which in, in those cities is a lot of money per month for just heating costs right. that's more than what I pay to heat and I, I, I'm I warm yeah it's amazing right us city slickers are warm as heck I know 200 I know. bucks a month I know I pay like next to nothing you know? next to nothing <laughs> I pay 200 bucks but I you know, know I lived in a building uh, down on Wall Street on Hanover Square um, previously and um, they had I'm something I'm going to give her address out on the next show after she leaves well, no, this doesn't matter. I just live there. They, um, no, you're new at it. My building, thanks, yeah. My building had uh, something set up with some kind of electric company where we would get, it was like a, a different, it wasn't like a um, con, um, con Oh, Edison. right, right, right. Right, it's one of the co-ops or something. And I was only paying $30. Yeah, it's amazing. $30 right? How a much month. you could do with that. And no. they were, I, 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 would, I would put it into my rent payment. Hey, I saw Boone Pickens the other night, Jeremy. Remember, we went, we met him up at the palace. Um, and I saw he, he ran, he's got a new Pickens plan uh, commercial. God bless him. Uh, Mr. Pickens, you are a great American. He's fantastic. Um, I, I really hope that you get some traction on your plan, and I hope that well, moves forward. Well, let me I'd finish this, him. because, uh, sorry, I love well, Bill Pickens, it. too. No, Pennsylvania to Alabama for coal. They have recently diversified into the cement and timber business, so they're also going to look into uh, cement and timber. Yeah. Which, you know, it's, it's good for building. Yep. Anyway, we're here every day at Wall Street Media. You can find us at Stock WS. Twits. Stock Twits. Well, let's tell them where to find us first, okay? Okay. Us first. Us first. WSMCO.com. And if, you know, if we're not speaking, speaking clearly enough for you, uh, which I think we do, um, or if there is something that you want to figure out, just go to uh, StockTwits.com, Investopedia, or Covestor. They're all free. We're here for you every day. Wall Street Media. Say goodbye, Doug.